Hi, this is Manos Berlakis presenting case 10 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case of a retrograde PCI of a native coronary CTO using the vein graft and aortocoronary dissection. The patient presented uh, with um, exertional angina and was found to have a CTO of the right coronary artery and also a saphenous vein graft to the PDA that was patent, however, it was diffusely diseased, had multiple lesions in the mid-segment, distal segment, as well as the proximal osteum. Therefore, what was recommended is instead of treating the multiple vein graft lesions that would carry significant risk for distal embolization, to instead canalize the native right coronary artery, which would have a better short and long-term patency. Therefore, we have a dual injection that shows a right coronary CTO with a well-defined proximal cap. The occlusion length is fairly short, about 10 millimeters. The distal vessel is diffusely diseased and the collaterals are coming essentially from the vein graft. So given the short occlusion length and the well-defined proximal cap, the initial plan was to perform undergrade wire escalation followed by retrograde via, via venous graft since it was such a large patent conduit and as a third option under great dissection re-entry. Escalation was performed with a turnpike microcatheter and a pilot 200 wire. However, the wire did seem to go in the subminimal space as confirmed from the RAO projection. We therefore converted into retrograde approach by advancing a guide wire from the vein graft into the distal right coronary artery. And then we were easily able to cross the CTO from true to true lumen into the undergrade guide catheter. The guide wire was externalized and um, stents were placed, restoring undergrade flow into the right coronary artery. There remained some distal RCA disease and that is why the plan was to deliver a few more stents. However, during an injection, while we're trying to place a distal RCA stent, we had a significant aortocoronary dissection tracking down all the way to the posterior descending artery. This is an infrequent complication of CTOPCI, happens in about 0.8 to 1.8%. But the positive news is that in most cases it resolves spontaneously without any consequences. But the key component here once this happens is to stop injecting. More injections are going to cause more and more contrast entering the subintimal plane and extending the extent of dissection. Therefore, we disengage the guide catheter. We did have an externalized guide wire which made those manipulations fairly easy. We did not do any more injections and then we deployed another stand in the ostium to make sure we sealed the perforation site. And then we um, inf inflated an osteal flush balloon to facilitate re-engagement of the guide catheter after the stents were implanted. So after this we had a a nice result of had me three flow in the distal right coronary artery. We debated placing more stents distally, however, we thought that this area of dissection would heal. There is always a question in such cases on whether the vein graft should be coiled at the end of the procedure. Advocates of coiling suggest that by doing that, minimize the risk of restenosis of the native vessel. However, the downside is, apart from the acute risk of potentially the coiling propagating, causing thrombus propagating down to the distal right coronary artery, another potential risk is if the native CTO recanalized lesion restenosis, the patient would be unprotected. In this case, we did not coil the vein graft. The patient did better, but then he got uh, progressively worse and he came back a few months later. And upon repeat injection, there was significant disease distally proximal to the touchdown of the vein graft, which was still patent and supplying the um, posterior descending artery. So this time we wired undergrade very easily and we placed several drug eluting stents all the way to the PDA and after doing that we obtained an excellent result. The patient had resolution of his symptoms and uh, an excellent recovery. So in summary, this case shows that vein grafts are an excellent retrograde conduit together with septal collaterals and this is the best way to start learning the retrograde approach. The aortocoronary dissection is an uncommon complication, but if it happens, the key component is to not inject anymore. 
stand the ostium and ensure that there is no propagation of the dissection further into the aorta. And finally, there remains a controversy as to whether the vein graft should be coiled after the native coronary is recanalized. Many operators, including myself, do not routinely call those vein grafts, but there are different opinions and there is more data needed before making a final decisions about this area. Thank you.